Hello, my name is Akriti Lakshman, and today we're going to be talking about probiotics. Have you ever wondered if bacteria was actually good for you? If you said yes, then you're right. There's a special kind of bacteria called probiotics that exists in all of us. It helps keep us healthy in many ways. They are found naturally in many foods, like yogurt and other fermented food. When we take antibiotics or any other kind of medication, it can negatively affect our gut biome, leading to various diseases that can affect many people. In fact, our gut biome has been linked to various brain diseases like Alzheimer's disease. Let's watch a little short explanation on how probiotics actually work. For most people, bacteria has a bad connotation, but that's not always the case. One of the most common types of probiotics is Lactobacillus, and it is used to treat problems in the small intestine. Another common probiotic is Bifidobacterium, and it is used in the large intestine. LV and BB have been best friends forever because they live together in a house that we know as the digestive system. Most of the time, they're playing around and having fun, but they have one main duty, to protect their country, or in other words, us. Not only do probiotics help protect against bad bacteria, they can also produce antibiotics, aid in enzyme protection, and produce important vitamins. The digestive system is made of the esophagus, the stomach, the large intestine, and the small intestine. Sometimes, bad bacteria, also known as pathogenic bacteria, can enter our digestive system and cause damage. In that case, our probiotics have to gear up and get ready to fight against the pathogenic bacteria. Most of the time, the probiotics are strong enough to kill the pathogenic bacteria and keep our gut healthy. But sometimes, when there's too much bad bacteria, we take a pill, also known as antibiotics, that will swoop in and save the day. However, when the antibiotics kills the pathogenic bacteria, it also kills the probiotics. While this may not seem so bad, this can actually very adversely affect our gut system. An imbalance in our gut can lead to various other digestive problems. Now that you know how important probiotics are for you and your body, I hope you'll try to get some for yourself. There are actually 1 trillion cells that make up the tissue in our body, but there are 100 trillion bacterial cells that live in our digestive tract alone. The symbiotic relationship between us and our bacteria helps keep us running.